and then we're off. Today we're heading to Amsterdam where we're going to spend two nights in a hotel, rent some bikes and just tool around the city for a while and relax with Wi-Fi and air conditioning. I hope air conditioning. I don't even check about air conditioning. But it's been nice and cold so I'm not worried about air conditioning. We have fans. We have fans. Off we go. And we're off. We're heading into Venice. San Marino, Rome. Firenze. Andorra. Jude. Lake Geneva. Chateau Guidillon. Paris. The Belgium today. The Germany today. The Tour of Wuppeland. The Neuschwanstein Castle. Welcome to Austria. Welcome to Italy. Welcome to France. Welcome to Andorra. Welcome to Switzerland. Welcome to Belgium. Welcome to the Netherlands. Welcome to Germany. Welcome to the Netherlands! Woo! You can tell we're in the Netherlands because of all the windmills. <laughs> Holland is so flat you can't even see it over the weeds. <laughs> That's funny. So we've arrived in Amsterdam. You can tell by all the bicycles and the skinny streets and the bicycle lanes and all the very confusing traffic signals that are in a language that I have no frame of reference to understand. So we're looking for an ATM. We're staying at a youth hostel, which we've never done before. And we'll see how it goes. It was very expensive, but it's the only thing nearby that we could stay in. So we'll see. We've been celebrating that we've been coming in under budget this whole trip. Amsterdam, that stopped. The um, parking was 6 dollars an hour. Hotel is 400 bucks for two nights. Hey, here's the issue though. We've, I've never been to a place where I definitely felt like me. it's a money, money laundering front. He has no reason to be in here and he does not want to serve us. It's so funny. The portions we just got are huge. That's a mountain of fries for one person. That's another one. More fries over there. I got more fries. Look at this huge plate. This is a Coke. That's how big the plate is. It's gigantic. Sauce is a little spicy for me. I'm loving it though because I enjoy spicy food. We got a wrap. Yes. And a bunch of fries. The food is very good. Very, very excited. So we're off for the evening. We've got a taxi for five. It's a van. And when asked where we're going, I said, please take us to the tourist area. He said, I'll drop you right in front of the tourist station and show you where to go. Or the train station and show you where to go. So we're just going to go tool around and see what we can see. Cyclist to the motorcyclist in Korea. We are at the train station ferry area, the central train station. And there's just so much foot traffic and bike traffic and car traffic. It's a very busy place. So we're going to go to the south of the train station and see the picturesque portion of town. I said this on a previous uh, observation, but they have to deal with infrastructure here that's so different from what we do in other places europe so in amsterdam they have to deal with the water constantly so here we have the road the harbor and then those that footpath goes below the harbor and the only thing stopping it from flooding is that little wall so cool. they clearly know what they're doing oh look it's Lindsay. she's observing the same thing Is that crazy? It's like, a good bike. Good bike. <laughs> a bike escalator. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, that guy's got pizza on his boat. Pizza. Nice. It's like the very back table, all the way in the back. Well, that's okay. That'll do. Oh, open air, but not quite open. So we are on the boat now. Enjoying the dock. We just departed. Got a nice intro from our captain. And away we go.
buildings are super crooked. It's cracking me up. They're so crooked. Oh, that bridge was built in 1982. Oldie but a goodie. Old bridge, man. All these broken bits on boats and cars along the canals. There was a big storm that blew through and a bunch of trees fell over. So this boat was just destroyed. That's a bummer. It's a beautiful boat. All the masts are broken off. Yeah. There's the bike scalator. All right, everybody. We almost the to the The footbridge beneath the train station has walls covered with nautical artwork glazed into the tiles. It's pretty. Recommended to try out a place called Mutters, which is Dutch for mothers, and it's home cooking. So let's see what we got. Well, the place is covered with pictures of moms. That's cool. The entire place is covered with pictures of moms. Just everywhere, just pictures of moms. Hundreds of them. Thank you. It's got what is the most exciting meal of our entire European trip so far. This is beef stew with marinated and mustard. This one is beef stew with gravy and mushrooms. This is sausage and bacon on mashed potatoes. These are baked potatoes. These are boiled potatoes. This is applesauce, but it's like apples that are barely mashed. That's red cabbage. And then Noah got meatballs, mashed potatoes, and sausages of some kind with carrots in it. And he's already chowing down. But this yes. looks wonderful. I'd like that mm. and that and that and that and that. That was awesome. The whole restaurant just saying happy birthday. That is quite a candle. I'm impressed. And we have polished off our meal. This was so good. Not Yeah, the cabbage didn't go, but mm, everything was great. And I think, are we getting dessert or are we too full for dessert? What are we doing? Maybe do some sampling. We decided to give their apple pie a try. It's lovely. And we decided to give the cheesecake a try. Also lovely. today we let the kids sleep in and it's the best laundromat I've ever been in massive dry washer is similar to the US the machines are all similar to the US but this thing is not you can pay cash or card and it all connects directly to the machines and then you tell it what you want it to do and you can dispense wash powder if needed this has made it very convenient because you can get rid of coins, bills, or just use a credit card. Touchless, uh, contactless payment. Nice. So if you're ever in town, this is definitely the laundromat to go to. Update. The dryers are the hottest and longest dryers we've ever paid for. Two bucks for 15 minutes. And everything's done in one dry. Even heavy jeans. Totally dry. Very impressed. Definitely the place for you if you need a laundromat in Amsterdam. Today we go looking for a lunch place on the canal. And just some tourist stuff. Got tram tickets for the day and we are exploring. Bikes on bikes on bikes. So many bikes. And then there's these little two stroke cars. These things are great. They're so loud. And there's one behind you, which I think is electric. It's like one person. Those are cool. Yeah. They're so cool. That bike is bigger than that. And they have these little bike dump trucks in Europe. We've seen those before. That's the nicest looking one we've seen, though. But these little bike dump trucks. Cool. Uh, 
Amsterdam. 1620. It's been around a while. Okay, oh, we have found where we want to eat. The tables are not great. This is a rocky, rocky one. We're sitting on. So we found a spot that we're gonna have lunch, and it's just here on the canal, across from a very old, beautiful building, and another very old, beautiful building, and then a bunch of old, beautiful buildings down there. A lot of old, beautiful buildings. I don't know what canal we're on. Lad's got a table of burgers over here, right? Burger, burger, chicken. What'd you get? I got. Uh, it's poutine with a giant chunk of chicken on it, basically. It's quite nice. So here we are. Thank you. Oh yeah, can I have some ketchup? So this is like a giant fillet of chicken on top of some cheese fries. Looks lovely. And then you got a burger. And we each got more Pepsis. This is the first time we've had Pepsi in Europe, I think. Yeah. Nice. Go Island. Oh, Lindsay got a shirt. There's a picture of a picture. Nice. That's cute. We found ourselves in a wind tunnel. It is freezing cold right here. If, if oh, there was a place to buy a sweatshirt, I would go spend Yeah, it's, it's that cold. But as soon as we get up and go over there, it should be fine. The buildings will be fine. Can we have to check with them? So the buildings are can be really crooked. That one is as crooked as I've seen. I love it. We used to joke around at the farm because the buildings, the farm was not entirely plumb in every aspect. But that is a very crooked building. All right, I'll forget. So typically nerdy of our family, we found. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, we found a, a used bookstore. An English. Used oh yeah, bookstore. used English books, and it goes in. And up, up and, and down, down, two and floors down. down. Well, we and so floor it's skinny there. and wonderful. I'm actually going to ask if I can quick show a little bit. So I've actually asked the gentleman, and he said I can go ahead and show. Uh, that's the sign, and you come in the little door, and it goes on and on, and you go well back into this tiny, tiny store. It goes up one floor. It goes up one floor to fiction, and then it goes down another floor, and still down another floor. This is a tiny, tiny floor down there. So it's thousands of books. So of course we bought, you know, more books than we can carry on an airplane, because we're irresponsible. That tower, made in 1614, is leaning terribly to one side. It's really funny, everything leans here. How do Pisa get all the press? Amsterdam's way cooler. And leans a lot more. Everything here leans. Maybe that's the problem. If only one thing leans that stands out. So the crooked buildings are a result of foundations that are sure, foundations that are built on wooden piers that are now rotting. But you can see here the buildings lean outward. That's a result of design. No? Okay. Here the buildings lean outward, but they were designed that way. They were designed and they had laws that allowed them to, to lean out a certain distance only because they were worried they were going to fall over. So these are leaning out on purpose. But it's the side to side lean that is not on purpose. Before we pack it up and get ready to leave tomorrow. 
So we found a little a little ribs and pizza place or steak and pizza place. This is how the meat came out. These are skewers for Toby and Lindsay and Isaac. And then Noah got the ribs. And then I'm getting myself a pizza. I think that looks really good. Let's see how it goes. And then I ended up with a margarita pizza. Just wasn't feeling steak today. Just wasn't feeling steak today. Dinner was a success, and we ended with complimentary limoncello, which I missed because Lindsay gave it to the kids before I had a chance to get the camera out. I was inside paying. So everybody's had a flavor, or everybody's had a sample. It was gross. It was, okay, it was the best gross thing we've ever had. Okay. Is that a taste of like lemon? Oh, yes. It beat my quill, my day quill. I'll say that. We are back. We had our last tram ride in Amsterdam. We're gonna go chill in the hotel and we'll see you another time. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out our other videos on YouTube.